ఎవరిబడి <laughs> Yes, please. Decomposition. Decomposition reaction. And that too it is heated. So perfectly I can say, what is that everybody? Thermal decomposition. So we are going to get X plus CO2. For that, if I add H2O in step 2, I will get a slacule line. So what is this slacule line? Anybody can tell me? Slacule line means what? Calcium? Calcium hydroxide. calcium hydroxide caoh twice so learn the formula quick lime quick lime alphabet q first will come see that slacule lime will come next so slacule lime slacule lime also we can say lime water so whatever it is or quick lime also we can say simply lime so calcium oxide is a quick lime slacul lime means calcium hydroxide calcium hydroxide so now we all know it is there in the chapter number which one ra chapter number yes please what is the what is this equation where we have decomposition reaction in chapter number 1 yes chapter number 1 you can see page number 8 that's what i want it everybody see that so page number 8 figure number 1.5 so we are having actually three decomposition reactions one is ferrous sulfate second one is calcium carbonate third one is what is the third one anybody what is the third decomposition reaction we have lead nitrate so everything is important see three things three different importance ferrous sulfate first when we heat it decomposition won't be takes place what it will takes place anybody ferrous sulfate when we heat first decomposition won't be takes place what it will takes place anybody can answer first what will happen water of crystallization will be removed do you remember everybody please respond all of you yes please don't know open page number 8 what is there you can see so page number 8 if you open so what else we have first equation we have ferrous sulfate if you are heating so we will get it what will get guys ferric oxide plus so2 plus so3 but is the first directly will get ferrous or ferric oxide it is not a ferrous sulfate ferrous sulfate what is that actually ferrous sulfate feso4 dot 7h2o am i right guys please respond it is a crystalline sulfate what is the color a green in color so first when we are heating what will happen the color of the crystals changes so what does it mean the hydrated feso4 turn up into unhydrated feso4 is it right guys please respond then further if you continue the heating am i audible everybody please respond further if you continue the heating so then only it will be turn up into three products that is what we used to say is ferric oxide sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide so that is what you have to remember i have given you the two equations am i right hari so first when we heated what will happen everybody in this reaction you can observe that a single reactant breaks down to give a simpler products this is a decomposition reaction ferrous sulfate crystals see here we are writing only feso4 but it is a crystals what is the color of them light green color so first when we heating they will lose the water of crystallization what is the water of crystallization of ferrous sulfate everybody what is the water of crystallization of ferrous sulfate 7h2o 
So that will be removed first so that it will be turned up into green color crystal to white color powder. Further, if you continue, then only decomposition takes place to ferric oxide, sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide. So please make it clear. So that is what? So limestone we are making. So limestone we are going to get decomposition. We are going to get what guys? Calcium oxide, quick lime plus carbon dioxide. For this quick lime, if you are adding the water, previous page, you all can notice it. For quick lime, if you are adding the water, so what is we are going to get guys? What we are going to get? Slake lime, that slake lime only CaOH twice plus heat. That is only the first question. So identify the correct options from the given table, which represents the type of reaction occurring in step one and step two. What is the first C products we all know. So now first one, first one, what is that? Decomposition. Second one, second one is an example of what reaction? Anybody? Second one is an example of what reaction, guys? It is the Excellent. combination oh. reaction. First combination, hurry. And then also it is the heat is releasing. So it is a what reaction? Everybody, please respond. Exothermic reaction. So that is what is the importance of every equation. So first one is a what? Yes, see here there is no there is no decomposition uh, reaction. So we are heating. So here we are providing the heat. So it is a what reaction? Exothermic or endothermic? Everybody. Yes, please. It is the endothermic. Here heat releases. So it is a what reaction? All of you. Yes, please. Exothermic reaction. See, we will study under the combination reaction and decomposition reaction. But they are giving what? They are giving exothermic and endothermic. So that is the importance of knowing every equation which will come under what? Here we are providing heating so that it is an endothermic reaction. There heat is releases. That's the reason we will study that. If you touch the surface, it, you will feel what? Do you feel any changes in temperature? Yes. You will feel increasing or not? Everybody. Yes or no, guys? Because it is the what reaction? Exothermic. It will produce a large amount of heat. It is the exothermic reaction. So what is the correct option? Everybody? Option C. First one is endothermic. Second one is exothermic. So that's what it is. So make it fast. Anybody having any doubt? Clear everybody? Call to option D's others. Somebody call to Mr. Omar. I want to know Sanjay. So Sanjay is there. Noor call to Sanjay. Sanjay is there. Okay. So whoever is missing, just make a call. Fastly. First question, understand? See, what is from the first question, you learn totally two concepts. What are the two concepts you learn? One is, what is the first concept you have to learn? Remember everybody, decomposition reaction. Second one is what? Combination reaction. Along with that, exothermic, endothermic, products, and the entire decomposition reaction. Decomposition means your mind should say how many equations totally? Anybody? Your mind should speak about how many equations, guys? Yes, please. Three equations. Three equations. So please remember that. Always your mind should speak about three equations when you are speaking about decomposition reaction. Same way combination reaction means you have only one equation in your book. Only that equation is Calcium oxide reacting with the water. No other equation you have. Along with that, you are having a whitewashing tabular column. The most important tabular column. You need to remember this. Okay. Next second one. Second question. Read everybody. Chapter number I wanted. Just now we studied. We are going to have. See that. On heating green solid. Green solid. By listening this word itself, I will understand it is a what? Everybody. FeSO4 7H2. Understanding everybody? That's all. That is what I am saying you. It will give uh, two gases C and D having a suffocating odor along with a reddish brown residue. What is a reddish brown residue? Anybody? What is a reddish brown residue? 
See now Very I will close. show listen, listen. Reddish brown, we will get two places. One is only only in decomposition reaction. One is in ferric oxide. Ferric oxide is what is the color of the ferric oxide? Everybody? What is the what is the color of the ferric oxide? Everybody? Reddish brown. Reddish Understand? Brown. So reddish brown. This is the solid. Solid. And same decomposition reaction. Here we will get nitrogen dioxide. It is also reddish brown. Reddish brown. See that brown fumes. But this is a what actually? That is only I wanted. What is that actually? It is the gas. Gas. So please remember nitrogen dioxide is a brown fumes. Fumes means gases. Fumes means gas. And here solid means it is the ferric oxide and pungent smell smell what is the gases two gases sulfur dioxide and sulfur dioxide sulfur trioxide can you smell the characteristics order of burning sulfur definitely we can that is what it is a pungent smell it will come so that is only they are making see that the suffocating odor along with that and these gases are major air pollutants why major air pollutants anybody because sulfur dioxide reacting with the water, sulfur trioxide reacting with the water, they will lead to what? Formation of everybody. What range, guys? Acid range. Acid range. That is the reason they are the major pollutants. When these vapors of these gases are collected and dissolved in water, the solution turns blue litmus to red. Blue litmus to red means they are acidic in nature or basic in nature. What they are, everybody? Acidic in nature. Blue to red. Acidic in nature. Blue to red means they are acidic. Acidic oxides. Please note it. That is also very important. Acidic oxides. We all know non-metallic oxides. Non-metallic oxides are the what oxides? Everybody. Acidic oxides. Of course, neutral also. Neutral water is the example. Acidic oxides, what is the examples? Anybody? Carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, sulfur trioxide. So please note it. Any doubt, anybody? So what is that? Option? Option C. So entire equation. So this is what? Red solid, sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide. So that is only the answer. So what is the compound? FeSO4, 7H2O. Okay? And Fe, Fe2O3, SO2 and SO3. Now, here I will make small change. So, please remember another point. If you if they want to make you more confusion, now you see, note my word. Instead of here Fe, FeOH twice, I will write just FeSO4. Now, 100%, 95% people will confuse with option B or option C. Why means? This also let me change it into Fe2O3. Now tell me guys, definitely it will lead to confusion or not? Yes or no guys? Please respond. All of you. If this is FeSO4, remaining products are same. Let me take it is SO2 and SO3. Now tell me, I will add the another option. FeSO4, Fe, Fe2O3, okay, SO2 and SO3. So now tell me which is the correct option. I will take, let me take, this is option B. Now tell me, can you guess what is the correct option? B or C or? See me? <laughs> now also option C only correct. C Why? only. C only correct. Why? Water of crystallization. Because water of crystallization is there. But here representing equation, they are not representing. First, but they mentioned a what color? Everybody. What is the color? Green color, green color, ferrous sulfate crystals. Crystals means definitely it is the hydrated salt. Hydrated salt means it contains water of crystallization. So you have to be very careful with the options and you need to know exact concept otherwise it's not. If you follow the equation, your answer will be wrong only. So that's why you have to remember while I am teaching, I have given you two equations. First note here, when we are heating the ferrous sulfate crystals, actually they are having the water of crystallization. First, water will be 
first water will be removed and then only further decomposition reaction carried out. So that is what you have to remember. Okay, everybody. So that is all. Next. And now, today onwards when we are reading, please read the figure down also because that will be the answer for many, many questions. So that's what I'm saying. you. So this is also having a greater importance in our preparation. So that's why please concentrate on it. So next, a 10 ml of H2SO4 is mixed with a 10 ml of MgOH twice of the same concentration. The resultant solution will give which of the following color with the universal indicator. So very simple. Acid, this is acid and this is a what? Basic oxide. So like imagine acid is going to react with the base. So what is the going to get color? Neutral. What is the color of the neutral? Open acid bases and salts. Second chapter. What is the second chapter? What is the color will come guys when acid reacts with the base? Yes, please. <laughs> what is the color? We will get a neutral. What is the color of that? Don't know. Green color. Yes. Green color. That is what it is. So please open page number 26. You can see. So example, Hari, what is the equation we have given? Let me know. So when acids reacting with the metal oxides, uh, metal hydroxides, am I right? Is it correct? Acid bases and salts. Sir, magnesium hydroxide is a base mineral, sir. Yeah, that's what acid reacts with the base. That's what that equation you can check there. When metals, when acids react with the basic uh, basic oxides, what is the products? Page number check it. That's what I want. Hydroxides reacting. We have written metal carbonates, eh? metal bicarbonates. Eh? Uh, metal plus Same. acid reacting. Yes. Sir. Hurry. Same neutralization reaction. Yeah, neutralization reaction. Reaction of acids with the metal oxides. Reaction of acids with the metal uh, hydroxides. Is it that equations we have written? So you can you can write now. So what is the reaction? H2SO4 reacting with the magnesium hydroxide. So what is the expected product? Anybody? Yes, please. Magnesium sulfate and water. Yeah. Magnesium sulfate plus water. Write it. Magnesium sulfate. What is the formula magnesium sulfate? MgSO4 plus we are going to get water. So it is a neutralization reaction. So neutralization reaction. So what it will be? It will be actually salt. Acid plus base will react. We will get a salt plus water. So what is the color it will give you? Everybody. <laughs> what is the neutral salt color, color guys? Yes, please. Color of the salt. Green color. Sir, this is not neutral salt, sir, because it is a salt of strong acid and weak base, sir. Uh, but so it is acidic, salt. Acidic, acidic, acidic salt, but the color will come what hurry? Almost is closer to green only, correct? Acidic salts means lightly acidic in nature. Uh, then yellow can also come, sir. Yellow. Yes, but Most yellow is. Yellow is, see Hari, yellow will be in a, yellow will be in a completely acidic in nature. Yellow will be in where? Four. Clear? Yes, sir. Understand Hari, from the five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Check it. Everything will be like almost uh, basic in a, all are in a light green color. Am I right? Uh? Verify it. Colors open. Yes, sir, page, number, page number 26. That's what Hari is saying. The pH value pH value will be, if you choose yellow means definitely the pH value is 4, but it is not be 4, correct? It is just acidic salt. Are you clear? Understand, huh? Yeah. See, there is no, there is no salts like, there is no salts will be having the colors of that. That is, you have to remember that. Understand, Hari? So, it will never be, always. 
So only the whatever the salt that will be lightly in acidic nature or basic in nature, the color will be definitely it will be closer to the green color. Okay. Understand? It's noted. Right next. That equations we have not written are it anywhere. We have written that. Metals and non-metals we written. Am I right? Where we have written that? Metal uh, metal oxides, metal hydroxides. Other examples, any other examples I have given? Please let me know that. No. Okay. So please note it. Next. Given pictures shows the reaction of metal A, B, C, D and E with acid. With acid. Base based on the observation in the given picture arrange the metals in the increasing order of reactivity so it is a reactivity nature so let us see now what will happen so all of you observe here it is a burning by burning we have, we will all understand it is a what anybody can tell what is a metal which will have which will give you the fire which will catch the fire sodium sodium or there is another metal. What is potassium. that? Potassium. potassium. That is what. So you should not. The, what they are asking, based on the observation in the given figure, arrange the metal in increasing order of reactivity. Increasing order of reactivity means, so the metals which is coming at the last, it has a maximum reactivity. So now what is the metal which is at maximum? Yes, please. Option. That is C. 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 So I can avoid A and D. Gone. So two options, I will finish it. Next you see, in this all, everywhere we are noticing the gas bubbles. Here we are noticing more gas bubbles so that next reacting is B. Little bit less, next reacting is D. Little bit less, next reacting is E. There no reaction, no reaction because no gas bubbles. So that it is indicating least reacting. So starting with the first A, ending with the C. What is the correct option? Option B. Option B. So that is the way you need to do it. Please make it. Any doubt, anybody can ask me. The metal and all we don't want. Based upon the catching fire. Catching fire, maximum reacting. More bubbles are releasing, more reacting. Please remember that. Do it, everybody. Anything doubt, please let me know or else proceed. Make it quiet, make it fast. <laughs> Harry, check your notebooks where we have written that the acid is reacting with the metal hydroxides. I want to know it. We have written or not? Or we have written means where we have written. Completed everybody? All of you understand? Next question. An element X loss, losses three electrons. By this time I understand it is a what element? Anybody can? But we no need to identify it. What element it is? Everybody. Aluminium. And another element Y gains one electron. So means definitely it is a, see that it is losing and gaining. So first of all I know it, it is a what bond? Metal and non-metal. This is the yeah. metal and this is the non-metal. So that definitely what bond will form by losing and gaining? Everybody. It is the? Ionic. Ionic. So Ionic. The, the chemical formula of this compound formed by the combination of X and Y and the type of compound they are saying. See that X valency is 3. Y valency it only gains 1. So that what is the? What is that everybody? This is plus 3. This is minus 1. So what is the formula? x1 y3 so which is what we will say x y3 and it is a what compound everybody yes please it is the ionic compound so what is the option anybody <laughs> option option d that's all
That is the reason. If you know the concept, it is very not, nothing is there. Solve everybody. Next question. The metal which is not refined by electrolytic method is which is the which is the element which is not refined by electrolytic method everybody which is not refined by electrolytic method any one of you are you recently asked me do you remember this question yes sir yeah anybody answer please if you say you should say the reason also please respond guys to say some options what are you feels anxious Is saying sodium. Sorry, zinc. Zinc. Okay. Next. Next, please. Anybody's? Whatever your answers, you can. No issues. You try. I will say the reason. Correct. Ungalik teriya the reason. Na teriya. Recently, Hari has asked the question. That's the reason I am saying you. He asked me that, and that based upon this extraction. You can see anyhow here copper is there. We can say it's copper. So anybody? Copper because it is in the lowest reactivity. That is what? Yes, Aishwarya. Very good. Next. So Aishwarya saying copper. Okay. Next. Oh. Anybody? Uh, zinc. Okay. So okay. See that here they are giving. We can do it by electrolysis. Reduction using by carbon found in the native state but you can see all of you sodium and potassium both are having a na one nature what is the nature of them can you tell me everybody <laughs> yes please what is the nature of them sodium and potassium just now previous question we studied what is the nature of sodium they, and fire. they will catch the fire it will lead to the explosive Understand? So that is the reason when you undergo for the electrolytic method, whenever the sodium forms, this sodium immediately start reacting with the water, it will leads to the explosion. That is the reason the metal which is not refined, they are not asking extraction. Aishwarya, you are saying the extraction process. But here, what is the word they are giving? Everybody. What is the word they are giving? Refining. Refining and extraction is not same. This is for extraction. Please note it. This is for extraction. Electrolysis of potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminum for electrolysis of extraction of metals. But refining is this is. Note it. This is the refining one. Refining here we have. So what is the metals we can refine? You can see. Electrolytic refining. What is the metals? Such as copper, zinc, tin, nickel, silver, gold are refined electrolytically. So that is what it is. So except, except aluminum, all the metals are mentioning. The copper is there, zinc is there, aluminum also. So what is the option? Option A. What is the reason? What is the reason? Anybody? What is the reason, guys? Yes. Sodium catches fire. Because sodium is sodium is a highly explosive, highly reactive with the water. It will leads to the fire catching explosion. That is what you have to write. So, what is the answer, everybody? Mr. Guru, understand? Hare Krishna, Hasini, are you there? That is what it is. So, please make it. Any doubt? Please let me know. Finish it fast. Make it clear. Clear? Next. Which of the following does not contain any coal and bond? How do you take the option? This I want to see that. So HCl. HCl, coal and bond. Oxygen, coal and bond. CH4, coal and bond. So what is only ionic compound? What is the only ionic compound? Everybody. Ca2 plus and O2 minus. Which will lead to Ca2O2 which is equals to CaO. So what is that? does not contain any coal and bond. What is the answer? Everybody. Ionic compound. Clear everyone? Yeah. All of you. So remaining all sharing of electrons. 
one and only compound which is here formed by donating and accepting is ionic compound. So they are asking which does not contain any colon bond, calcium oxide. Next, which of the following are examples of respiration they are asking. See like this question only last year board exam many people they did mistake. So you have to make it. So which of the following are examples of respiration. Humans use oxygen and release carbon dioxide. Plants use carbon dioxide and release oxygen. Burning dry leaves uses oxygen and release carbon dioxide. So what, which of the following are examples of respiration they are asking? So anybody? Respiration. Respiration means what? Respiration means what? They need to must release what? Everybody. Yes, please. Respiration means what is the meaning guys? First, they need to release what? Where is the respiration reaction in our book? First chapter it is there. Which place Ra? Page number? I think this one, yeah. So what is the first? Respiration reaction, we must get what? Everybody. What we have to get guys? We need to get what? Respiration. Energy. Energy should come. Energy should come. So energy should come in the sense of. So what is the options? Anybody? Only option one. So here there is no releasing of energy. Of course it is it is breathing. It is exchanging gases. Plants use carbon dioxide and release oxygen. They will that is photosynthesis reaction. So it is not uh, energy releasing. Energy releasing only wish to say is respiration. So next, burning dry leaves uses oxygen and release carbon dioxide. This is a what? This is a what reaction? It will not be a respiration reaction. And it is not even a combination reaction or whatever it is. We cannot say under anything. Burning is a combustion reaction. So combustion reaction is not where we are getting energy is not releasing here. So that's why we cannot say this and this is and following the examples of respiration. Only the human's respiration or animals. Any animals will do the respiration. Where to get the energy for the bodies, that is what we have to remember. Do it. So only option one. That is what it is. So this is what chemistry, eight questions totally. Of course, seven questions, then eighth question, biology. Next, this is, we already studied. Now, Babu Ram suffers from a condition due to which his average blood sugar level is 210 milligram per deciliter. Mg, milligram per deciliter. Everybody back to the meeting again. The average blood sugar in a healthy adult is less than 140 mg per dl. Now, which of the following color, uh, sorry, following could result in uh, Babu Ram's condition? So, what is the major reason? Excess sugar he has. So, what is the reason? Excess production of sugar because of insufficient production of some hormone by somebody. Anybody? Insufficient. Yes, please. Insufficient production of hormone. What is that hormone? Sugar. Sugar means immediately how to remember what hormone? Everybody. Yes? Insulin. So, insulin. Yeah. Now, sugar level is increased.